You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Time for another Ask Camp Kenning question. This one comes from Michelle. She didn't leave her last name. That's okay. So Michelle, this one's for you. If you recognize the question, you're the Michelle I'm talking to. It is basically, she asks, what other species of tortoise can I keep with a redfoot tortoise? So, first thing I'm gonna let, let you know about is Tom's gonna have to keep moving because the mountain tortoises are gonna get his toes. All right, so that's that's the first bit of info. But I'm standing in the mountain tortoise and elongated tortoise pen because they are two species that if they are captive bred, only way I would ever put tortoises together um, are number one, if they can share the same habitat, which I'm about to discuss, or if they're captive bred uh, and you know they don't have any parasites or any kind of diseases that they can cross contaminate the other animals from different parts of the world. So, redfoot tortoises, as you know, are from South Africa. Now, if you guys look just beyond here, this is my redfoot tortoise enclosure, and you can see a redfoot here. So the thing about redfoots, um, redfoots like to be in forest areas, but they will venture into grasslands and full sun areas. So if you notice, they've got shade, they've got full sun, and you can see all my redfoots right here. But just next door to them are the mountain tortoise and the elongated tortoise. Here are the mountain tortoise, and the small tan ones are the elongated tortoise. Uh, these tortoises are full-on forest species. They don't want to be be out in full sun. They will sunbathe in these little dapplings of sunlight that come through the canopy of the trees here. You see this? That's where they'd rather sun. So they don't need to have full basking. So you got to keep that in consideration if they're going to cohabitate with the redfoot. Can be done because they eat the exact same foods and like higher humidity. So keep that in mind. And then finally, guys, the other tortoise that I would keep um, would be uh, the cherry head tortoise, which essentially, guys, is a redfoot tortoise that just doesn't get as large and keeps that red head. But again, you see how they have shade in this area, but then over here, they've got full sun. So what did we learn today on this Ask Camp Cannon? Yes, you can keep other tortoises with the redfoot tortoise as long as you provide them with their environmental needs. So they're going to need a lot of shade. They're going to need the same diet, which as we know with redfoots are going to be leafy greens, vegetation, different flowers, and some fruits. The exact same situation, and sometimes a boot. These guys are lunatics. Uh, but anyhow, that's the Ask Camp Kenan question. Um, I'm going to try and save Tom because he's got sandals on. He always does bonehead things, like come to Florida without the proper footwear. That's why you hear him screaming in pain when fire ants, snakes, tortoises and all other manner of wildlife nibble at his toes. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back, guys. You're going to love the <laughs> Badiger Pond episode. <laughs> the fire ant debacle. <laughs> That's the one. See you guys.